Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, so today we're going to be making some churches and this one is just two small uh, pallet boards that I've cut a 45 in uh, or on the top of and then uh, stapled them to this little probably about a two inch wide piece on the bottom so that it will stand up and now I'm using a large paint stick and I've cut a, a 45 on the top of it and then I'll glue that on with some tight bond glue. Now that's one of the styles that I'll be making. Uh, you can make these in so many different styles. You can make them as simple or detailed as you want but um, they're all over Pinterest in just all different sizes and shapes and that's what we're going to be doing today. I've been really busy making spring decor, but nothing that is actual Easter. So uh, I'm going to start with some churches because I think that is a good way to decorate for Easter, or for me it is. And I sell a lot of them uh, around Easter and Christmas. So this one is just a fencing board that I've cut probably... Um, actually quite a bit more than uh, a 45 degree angle. Um, I just, I drew these out and just had my husband go cut them. So I don't know exactly what the angles are on these, but uh, when I'm, when I'm doing my churches, sometimes I, I, I always go at least 45, but usually go quite a bit more than 45. But here I am gluing this in place. And I've got to mention on the other one that when I use my uh, tight barn glue. I also used a little bit of hot glue so that I would have some immediate hold and then obviously the wood glue is to hold it uh, permanently. So now here is a shorter one and like I said I like to have a lot of different sizes and shapes. Uh, I just feel like that they look good displayed together like that. Uh, but um, sometimes just the arch of the roof and the height of the uh, church will give it a completely different look. Now, I'm even going to make some really large ones out of old barn wood and those I will decorate very simply because uh, to me just the simplicity of the barn wood is enough uh, but obviously I'm going to be uh, using some other materials and if uh, if you don't have any way of um, cutting these uh, and you would like to make them uh, at least for a tiered tray. Uh, some of these will be small enough for a tiered tray but um, if you don't have any way of cutting wood then you can always use uh, cardboard or even the foam poster boards. There's just other options that you can use besides wood and uh, they make very good tiered tray items if you make them small enough. And I was thinking the other day about an idea for a three tier tray. I generally don't like to do those. I like to do two tiers because three tiers get a little complicated for me anyway. But I thought that the first level could have um, a cross and some things that signify uh, Christ's death on the cross and then the next level could be a tomb uh, for the resurrection and then the third level would just be a, a church and things like that to signify that we live for him because he died for us and I'm going to try to figure out how to make that work uh, I, I definitely want to do that and here I'm just base coating some of these churches and I'll base coat some, some I'll decoupage and I'm going to be adding uh, fabrics and paper and different items to this, lace uh, to some even. So uh, I'm just going to give these a lot of different looks and I won't show all of them that I do, uh, but I'll show in the end most of the ones that I did. My sister and I received a visit from one of my sweet viewers today. Her name is Anna, and we had a really good time. We even went out and did a little bit of thrifting. But it's always nice to meet you guys and find out how much we have in common. 
I'm not going to get to play my friend's music on this one because um, for some reason, even though she gave me permission, I ended up with a copyright infringement. So uh, I need to talk to her about how I need to do that to keep from getting that. She's already gone through the copyright uh, the copywriting and making sure that uh, that it's legal for her to have that. Uh, so I know that I can play that music. I just need to find out what I need to do first. Um, but as you can see, I added a little piece of board to the back of the top of this so I could add a um, cross. And what I made the cross from was just two little twigs from the yard that um that i cut and made into a cross and then i took some jute twine and kind of wrapped it around to secure it because i want this one to be really rustic and i'm even using some antiquing ink and uh, i decoupage that book page on there so actually all that i'm going to add to this now is just a little sign with some scripture on the top and I'm going to put some black behind the sign. I'm using some um, muslin fabric and I stamped uh, a little scripture stamp on there. Uh, and now I'm just using some black cardstock behind it to kind of make it look like it's framed. But I wanted to rough those edges up and antique around them before I did that just to keep this really, really rustic. And now, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we don't... Uh, if we don't have a way of uh, cutting wood, then you can use these. This is just a little, t or yeah, I guess it's a tongue depressor. And uh, you can just cut these with an old pair of scissors. So um, these make a good little um, size to do that with. So you could use the poster board or cardboard, or um, you can use these little tongue depressors. So this makes a really good size for your tiered tray. So I just used the three and I, I'm just uh, kind of eyeballing a 45 on this. And uh, I have put some little dots on the height that I want them. So um, that's how I do that without getting, uh, without messing up here. But, um, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the center one, except obviously I'm gonna do that in a peak at the top. And that would kind of give me the shape of a church. And obviously these can be done in different sizes and shapes also. But you don't really have to do much with these churches. You can, you can do them uh, very, very simple because the shape alone is gonna make it look like a church. It, so it's just to kind of symbolize a church and sometimes more simple is better it has a better look if you try to go too detailed i feel like it loses the um the charm i think now i think it's different when you do these in a shabby chic style and i am going to be doing a couple of those so in that case i'll be adding some more detail uh, but now with this one, I've just cut some other pieces of a tongue depressor to make me some little cross boards to hold these together. So that's just how I put these together. And um, because this is so lightweight, I didn't even worry with wood glue at all. I just used hot glue on this. And then to make this where it will stand up, then I just added a couple of other little boards to the bottom just to make sure that uh, I had a good base for it to stand. But I just wanted to give you guys uh, some other options because I know that many of you don't have uh, power tools. And even the doors, uh, the door and the windows on this is going to be uh, made from tank depressors. So um, this one is very simple to do. And I'm using some of my gel stain here and just kind of watered it down some. I just sprayed a little water in it. And that's what I'm going to use to stain my doors and my windows. And I decided I wanted to add a little bit more weight on the bottom, so I just went ahead and doubled up the, the bottom, and then it, st then it uh, stood up really well. 
and you can always even put some weight on them in your tiered tray. Now this is one of the barnwood churches that my husband built, and I'm just gonna uh, use my letter, some of my letter stencils. Uh, I don't know where I got these, uh, but uh, oh yes, I do. I was given these by my friend um, Paula, so I'm just gonna use these letter stencils, and I'm gonna stencil the word risen on the bottom and then i'm going to use part of another stencil that i have that says it actually says he is risen uh, but uh, it's in the form of a cross and i can't really use that on here and so i'm just going to do the he is on the top from that stencil and then do the risen on this and that's all that i'm going to do to this church but always keep that in mind with your stencils because uh, just because they won't fit with a certain um, project doesn't mean that uh, you can't use them with a certain project. So, um, as you can see, this one here is in the cross, but, uh, but I'm just taking the He Has Risen from it that I had out of frame there, and I'm going to just go across the top with that. And uh, you can just kind of mix these. And this is one that won't be painted up like a church, uh, but it's just going to signify. And uh, this will be a good size to uh, go at your front door, or um, I'm even going to use it on the mantle. And I'm going to do one more very large uh Barnwood churches, and uh, with it, I am going to be painting some windows and doors on it, but I'm still going to keep it pretty simple. And no, I'm not freehanding this. I had, I cut me a little cardboard stencil out, and I just, um, just traced it on there with some light marker, and so I can see where my lines are here to fill in, so I did that with all of the windows and the door. And I didn't mention that I put a twig cross on the top of the other barnwood one, and I'm also going to put one on top of this one. It's really hard for me to show these in the camera because uh, they're so large, I just kind of have to show you the end uh, result. And now I'm going to just uh, let you watch as I finish some of the other churches. And I'll be adding uh, decoupage and... Uh, fabric and laces and even some buttons uh, so I'll just let you watch as I finish
Now, I showed you the gift tissue that my friend Myra sent me, but she also sent me some beautiful molds that she had done, and I'm trying to figure out what kind of material that she used uh, to make these, but they are super sturdy and just beautiful, so I'm using one of those on the top of this one. Now this one, I showed where I was adding some scrapbook paper to this and just decoupaged it on the front. But I took it outside and used my orbital sander and very heavily distressed this one because I wanted to make this one look very rustic. And then I added some of my antiquing ink around the outside of it and now I'm gonna put this uh, darker colored doily on part of it.
I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.